CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz. Why the sudden cataract? This patient just suddenly developed a cataract and doesn't even know why. Look at this little lamp here. What do you see here? Look carefully. Notice anything? Mmm, what's that little black dot there, right? This patient is 65 years old, works in construction. And notice some pain in the eye briefly, maybe a week or two ago, but then the eye kind of felt okay. So didn't really know what was going on. And over the course of the last two weeks, the patient just suddenly kind of lost vision and now has this white cataract. What do you think it is? Hey, did I tell you about retinaround.com, our new retina channel, new retina video every single day, including cases like this of interocular foreign body that you definitely want to learn from. Now our surgeon here is putting an AC maintainer inside the eye. And now going a little bit of tripan blue dye to stain out that anterior lens capsule. And let's look carefully. Do you see a puncture of the lens capsule? You can get a tiny metallic foreign body penetrating the cornea so fast that sometimes you don't feel it. There's a, look at that scar right on the cornea. Look at the central cornea. Well, against the tripan blue dye, you can see there is looks like an entry site. Small and it's sealed up on its own. Look at that. Now look at the lens capsule. Look, the lens capsule is already open. So there's an intralenticular foreign body. Now you have to make sure, did the foreign body go inside the vitreous cavity? Did it go through the posterior capsule as well? On a patient like this, we're obviously pre-op, you can't do an optical method of biometry to measure the axial length, right? You can't. So you do an A-scan, but look at the A-scan carefully. What's the lens thickness? If the lens thickness is like six millimeters and you can tell the back posterior capsule the lens is opened up, well, that's an issue here. Now I've got to, Give Dr. Filutowski here some respect to get this rexus done with just an AC maintainer, no viscoelastic. Wow, that is not an easy task here. And you can see it definitely wants to run out. This is a tough, tough task. Glad you're using those tiny micro forceps here through a small paracentesis type incision. But hey, beautiful looking rexus. Now, where's that foreign body? Do you want to dig that out first? Yeah, look at that. Look at that, pulling it right outside the eye. Looks like a tiny fragment of something or another. Maybe it was glass. Oh, look at that. Wow, very interesting. There's the foreign body. And again, you need to make sure there's not a second foreign body. You need to make sure there's nothing else in the vitreous cavity. These are very important things you got to check out. Now, let's just say you had a good looking A scan and you know the posterior capsule is probably intact. That's a good sign. So now what should we do? Well, at this point, you can just do a regular FACO. So now enlarging that one paracinesis to a main incision, getting the phaco probe inside the eye, and this thing should come out pretty easily. You got a nice, beautiful rex there. The patient was fortunate that this injury really only involved the anterior lens capsule and that the foreign body got stuck inside the, the, the crystalline lens. And so here, just cleaning out some of this lens material, debulking. Here's a horizontal chop. Nicely done. Another horizontal chop. Beautiful technique here. Wow, the young surgeons these days are getting really good. I like it. Wow, beautiful again. Just think how much easier the case would be, though, at least for me, if you had some viscoelastic. But again, chopping this up into small pieces, aspirating this. There's that central endonucleus that's coming out, the endo nugget, I like to call it sometimes. And again, a nice good chops here. And the patient's going to be pretty happy. What a fortunate patient that the patient ended up with only a puncture of the anterior lens capsule, a tiny uh, puncture site in the cornea that's not quite in the center of the visual axis, so it's off axis a bit. What a lucky patient. Sometimes, wow, it is good to be lucky here. Getting the last pieces out, I like that chopper in the safe position. That's a smart move too. And let's look at the posterior capsule carefully. It looks intact. I like it. Wow, lucky, lucky patient. Can't even explain that to you. How lucky this patient is. Patient probably has no idea. Now here's a hydro implantation. Get that lens in. Oh, get that oriented appropriately. There we go. That's fine. Just dial it inside the bag. And again, patient's going to have a beautiful outcome. So remember, if you have a patient with this sudden development of a white cat, again, ask yourself why. Usually it's a violation somehow of the lens capsule. Now commonly these days with so many millions of intravitreal injections being done across the globe, Far more individual injections than cataract surgeries, right? And sometimes the individual injections can inadvertently end up poking or damaging the posterior capsule. So if your patient has a patient and your patient got an individual injection and then a week later has a white cataract, you got to think and ask yourself, hmm, why is that? 
And again, proceed with caution. In a case like this, make sure there's no other foreign body and make sure you've checked the patient's other eye as well. Because oftentimes these patients are not wearing safety glasses. They're doing something like this, such as construction, and they could have a foreign body in one or both eyes. You always got to check both eyes. Again, end of the case here, sealing up the incisions. What a fortunate patient. Remember, check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel. Amazing. A new video every single day. You will learn so much, and I promise you're going to love it.